Hi, everybody. Again, Patrick Edwell here. And in our series about empowering ourselves with this edge realm that you are living in, you have to ask for the angelic assistance to empower you to war on your behalf. So when we look at the scriptures, the scripture basically was talking to mankind. Jesus called out vipers. He used the word vampire and God used the word uh, vagabond. Yeah, those words are not just words that he just likes to throw out there simply because he's trying to speak English. No, he was actually talking to your clan, to your family. He's, he was actually talking to you to get empowered. And if you begin to look at the series of things that have been happening in your life, welcome, welcome, God bless you. If you begin to look at a series of things that have been happening in your life, in your family, in your body, then you know why Jesus was calling out those things. Some of us, when we were born, we were told that we are not a legitimate child of our parents or of our father. Definitely, you know that you, the mother knows who, uh, who the child is, except somebody stole them, okay? But when you are told that you are not a legitimate child of a particular family, do not look at it as if your mother cheated. You have to go into the spiritual realm to understand what they were saying when they said that you are not a part of uh, their family. And they are very correct. You are not in their bloodline. Because in this family, there is what they call vampires. And there's what they call vagabonds. Who was a vagabond? Cain, Cain in the scripture was a vagabond. And he kept running, okay? So he's not a brother's keeper. He's not a brother's keeper. Actually, he kills. He's a killer. And his father is a father of liars. His father is a deceiver. So he, he inherited that bloodline. So when somebody tells you that you are not in the earth language that you understand, yes, they're telling you the truth. You are not in their bloodline. So anything that you do together, it's not going to work simply because there's a light and there's a darkness. And the scriptures say that for this reason it was the son of God made manifest that he would destroy the works of the darkness. So Jesus was already cursing them because they already caused people who want to them, who want to that one who on your marriage, on your wedding day, you were so happy and they were spraying you money on your head, taking away the glory. I can tell you today, nobody can take your crown because you're a child of God, but you must be empowered. You must be aware of your surroundings, of where you were birthed. So when people come acting as if they are jubilating with you, they are actually jealous of you, envious of you, and they want to see you suffer. And then after the marriage, you begin to see somebody sleeping with you in your sleep. Thereby there's miscarriage uh, of pregnancy. There is loss of uh, uh, energy. This, these things are real in your family. Cain was a family of Abel. Cain was a family of Abel. Cain, he was a family of Abel. They were born of the same mother. So simply because we are born of the same mother does not mean that we have the same bloodline. Thank you, thank you for coming in. Does not mean that we have the same bloodline. Share my video, share my video, yeah. On the YouTube, my friends who are on the YouTube because I'm not going live today, okay? But you know, share it as soon as you get it. 
So simply because I, you were born of the same mother, my mother birthed you, doesn't make me part of you in any way or form. I'm not in your bloodline. Empower yourself, my brothers and my sisters. So when they begin to act somehow around you and your instinct is picking out stuff and one minute you remember that this thing is not good and then the next minute you forget it because they have a veil that they say uh, to use to cover their charades and God is now removing those veils so you can see clearly who they are by their fruit. They deceive you, they act like they love you, they monitor you, they call you on the phone, they ask for information. Information is what is their power. And so you stop giving them information, give them poison instead. You cannot give them information about nothing. That's what they live on. That's what they live on, information. And if you have children who are having, you know, spouses who wants to be married and, and, and the next minute, they just don't want to talk about marriage anymore. There's somebody in your family who is called a viper, a vagabond. Woe unto them. Woe unto them. Because they are disturbing your happiness. They are disturbing your peace. They are disturbing you. They, 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 they try, they thrive on, on people's misfortune. So when you have grown up children who are telling you something that is irregular, then you know that the vampire in your house has done something. They have their placentas, monitoring their placentas, stole their placentas, doing evil with it. And they say, oh, God can see them. God can see them. They say God cannot see them. When they begin to act funny and the spirit of God is inside you and is, is bringing awareness and waking you up, then you know you are dealing with strangers. In the scripture, the, 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 the Eve and Adam, we are in the glory of their father, Father God, all harmonious. They were in the glory of their father until a stranger came in. A stranger is not somebody who is far away from you. A stranger is not somebody who is just walking by your street. A stranger is in your house, in your house, in your house house in your family looking mm -hmm. like you they have the same nose as you doesn't mean anything that's just gene it's not the bloodline thank you thank you you gotta be careful be empowered they've been watching you since you were born before you were born they've been watching you they know who you're gonna become but because you lost your, dest your, your, your identity, you don't know who you are. You mingled with evil, like Eve mingled with the devil, Satan. You mingled with them. You trusted them. After your parents told you, don't talk to strangers. And you don't go tell that stranger. My mom said, don't talk to strangers because he would change his strategy. Satan did not think he was a stranger. Your, your sister, your uncle, your auntie, your brother are not considered stranger, right? But they are if they are not in your bloodline. They are strangers when they are not in your bloodline. They are vampires, they are vagabonds. They could kill, they could steal, and they could destroy. That's all they know how to do. That's their nature. Don't be trying to change them. If they want to come into repentance, they can do that all hearing the gospel according to Jesus Christ, 
not according to the pastor or according to the narrative that they, they have built out there. Be careful. And when they sneak in your house, when you tell them, don't come, I'm not there, but they still sneak into your house. They still want to know what you are doing. You should close your door on them. Close your door on them. Why is somebody not invited into your house and they come knocking on your door? Oh, because they look like you. Satan was looking, acting, wearing, doing stuff, but he's not God. He's a false God. And that's their father. Have somebody walk into your house coming from international flight. Just walk into your door. See if they bought the property there. As if they have that right to control your life. As if they have a, a, achieved something to control your life. Who are these people? Who are they in your family? How did they lure you into joining a club? It's a cult, it's not a club. And when you joined their club, they were able to manipulate themselves into you and give you all kinds of, all kinds of horror. And after they have invaded you, then the club dissolves. So you have nobody to hold on to in the club because it was never a club. It was a cult. You were initiated into a cult. So they can push you around, push your destiny around. And you thought that they love you or they like you or you're, you're so um, popular, you know, you're so beautiful. They want you in their club. No, they are jealous of you. They have to initiate you in order for them to penetrate into you and hurt. All they do is still kill, destroy. Jesus called them a vagabond. They are vampires, they are blood suckers. And they are right there in your family. You grew up with them. You ate with them in the same tree. You exchange clothes. We even wear on the pants of each other. We wear each other's clothes. Share the same mother. Share the same father. All of that when you don't know who you are, is dangerous. And they take their own sibling and put them in a soccer way under the water and lock them up there. And take their own mother who is loving them, trusting that they're gonna take care of her and put them in a soccer way and tie them there and punish them and hit them and kill them. Don't forget that their name, the father, after their father's name, who they emulate, his name is kill, still destroy. And how can you allow your loved ones to be taken care of by a stranger. A stranger should not be taking care of you because you are the child of God, you are the light of God. A stranger should not come into your vicinity. A stranger should not come around you. You should not negotiate with a stranger. You should not open your door to the stranger. A stranger is a fraudulent entity. It's a fraudulent, evil entity. It's a wicked entity. The door should be locked on them. Your roof should be sealed away from them. Your windows should be sealed with the blood of the Lamb. So they can't come from underground, upground, they can't come from the window. They can't come from anywhere because it's sealed. There's a bloodline 
that puts them away. But you have to come to awareness. And they gang up. They network of witches. You have so many children and more than half of them are in the diabolic. And when you, as a light of God, shine, they start naming you, they start calling you names, character assassination, hatred, envy. We return it back to them. We return it back to them. You got to be aware. You cannot be dwelling. You cannot be zigzag. You know what you know, and you stand with what you know, which is the word of God. You are still running around looking for prophecies. When the prophecy is in you, God gave me promise, and I know that promise is already fulfilled because God gave it to me, not man, not one sister who said, go meet a prophet in New Jersey. <laughs> who you think you're talking to? Who you think you're talking to? A rubbish person? Hell no. Who are you? who is the, in the bloodline of abundance. You cannot hurt the bloodline of our Lord Jesus Christ. She's the Christ-like, the Christ in me. That's my hope of glory. So you cannot take my glory. Who are you in this family? that is manipulating, camouflaging, covering up your face, making illegal contracts, unlawful contracts, covenants. I have no covenant with darkness. And if you have lured me into it, it is rejected. God is exposing all of that. And you are still thinking that your foolish knowledge is working. God is already decreasing your foolish knowledge. Adam and Eve taught us so many things. And we cannot ignore it just because we think we know things or we think we go to church. You gotta wake up by your own self and tell the devil, no, no, it's no. You have the wrong house. You have the wrong address. You have the wrong body. You have the wrong land. Out. You deceive, you deceive all the time. It's like somebody put a car in front of a house for somebody who cannot walk out of the apartment or out of the house downstairs to where the car is. So you can only watch the car from the window and appreciate the car from the window. What is that? What is that? You come to visit your own parents and you stay downstairs and ask, how are they doing up there? Because you had other plans. You're sleeping with your, 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 let me not say stuff. You're so diabolic, you know yourself, and you are in families. And you and your network, the light of God has come. And it's exposing every bit of you. The light of God has come. Remember, light and darkness cannot work together. I don't work with evil. I don't work with darkness. There's nowhere darkness can hide anymore. 
is down in the name of the precious blood of the Lamb. Their father never told them that he's a liar from hell. He's a deceiver. They want to own the whole world. They want to build hotels. They want to seize houses, seize properties, steal, kill, destroy. That's all they do. Steal properties. Steal destinies. Sleeping and manipulating siblings and watching your steps have their mirror that is already broken into pieces, have their mirror watching you. Man, be empowered and don't be deceived. And you bring food, olive oil. Who does that? Who brings olive oil to people's house as a gift? Who does that? And you're gonna bring two bottles of olive, small oil. We know what that is. You could not even put honey in your own tea and you're already fainting. You could not even eat shrimp and you're already fainting. Because you are not regular. You are a, a lower, lower, lower vibration. We know you. And you that is hiding behind all of that, all that aunties and uncles hiding behind all of that, we know you, we see you. We see you. Looking for information, we see you. No weapon formed against the light shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against the light in judgment, sorry, God already taking care of all of that. You cannot cause who God has already blessed. You cannot cause who the heavenly parents already blessed. You cannot use me for your hotel. <laughs> guest houses, hotel and guest houses. And you have diabolical, they are uh, doing all kinds of ritual just to hurt siblings who have not offended you, children who have not offended you, just loving you. Who says that um, Eve offended Satan? No. Eve did not offend Satan. Satan did not offend Eve. He was jealous. Satan was jealous. He was jealous to the core that he has to change a whole destiny. A whole destiny. He was so jealous. He has to change a whole destiny. And they are connected. It's your cousin, it's your sister that is connected to your cousin and your nephew is involved and your aunties and your uncles, all of them are hating because of who you are. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? Because of who you are. They don't want you to have money. They don't even want, you, they don't even want food on your table. And they are even jealous of you, who you are, your personality. And so they want to spoil your reputation. They are character assassins. But they don't know that who God already blessed cannot be caused. Cannot be caused. Some, you know, a couple of days ago, my father passed. And I said to myself, my father passed because of love. He had to let go because of love. It doesn't matter how old he was. He was 100, over 100, okay, put it that way. But you said, I thought it to do with the numbers. It has to do with love. 
It has to do with love. And when you say love so that the truth can come out, so that the truth can come out, that is love. God is love. And Jesus says the way to truth is the way to life. And everything about our Father, Mother God, is love. Love God. Love God. Love your neighbor as yourself, which means you are the one to love yourself first. And so when you know yourself, you begin to know that you are connected to your father, mother, harmonious God, heavenly God. So you are the number one. So if you don't love yourself, how can you love your father and your earthly mother? How can? You are diabolic, you are evil, you are wicked, you are satanic, you are demonic. You cannot love your own mother. You cannot love your own father, your earthly father that raised you that put his seed down to bring you to life. Because you are so diabolic, you are so wicked, and you have connected with other siblings who are causing evil in the family because of the bloodline that you guys share together is wickedness. And if there's a light amongst you, you want to derail them. God come against you, demonic network in all the families of God. Be empowered, my brothers and my sisters, and don't fall into their prey. Don't fall into their category. Don't bring yourself like low, low vibration, lowest vibration, kill, still destroy. Lowest vibration, don't bring yourself to that vibration. Begin to ascend today. Begin to ascend to receive the power of God into your life. The kingdom of God has to be preached. For you to be in the kingdom of God, you must know Christ. You must use Christ and the power that has been given to Christ to liberate you so that you'll be liberated from all these witches and wizards in your family that you never knew sleep on the same bed with them, you eat with them, you drive with them. But they cannot pray with you. They don't want to pray. Because when you pray, you are messing up all their diabolical red and kerchief that they carry around. All their diabolical wood that they put in your way, all that blockage. Scattering them as they gather, you scatter them as they gather, you scatter them. They think that having a church is your ultimate, the church is inside you. Jesus told us, I will build my church. The church is inside you, it's not in the four corner. So if you close the church of the four corner, the church inside you is alive and well. Glory to God. So you have opportunity today to repent, you wicked soul, you wicked person in the family, you diabolical, you network of witches, you cockroaches walking around in the family and disturbing people's life, manipulating people's life. We come against you. We come against you. We come against you, you demon, back in demon, network of demons in the family. We come against you. We cut you down. All that diabolical, all that the tree in your village that you are calling and, and, and manipulating and, and doing uh, what, do you, what do they call it, uh, uh, images. And think that you have arrived and you're False father is lying to you that you can kill the light. No weapon formed against the light shall prosper. We see you, we see what you do. You are exposed, totally exposed. Touch not my anointing. Touch not the light of God. Do the light of God no harm. Touch not the light of God. I'm calling everybody. If you are here, you are listening to this message and you know in your heart, 
You are diabolical. And the planet is now exposing all of that. And you want to repent. And you want Christ. This is your opportunity to repent. To call on Jesus. To show up himself in your life. Not, I'm not going to lay hands on you and you fall apart and you think you have received Jesus. No, you have to confess with your own mouth and say you want him in your life. You want to repent of all your wickedness. Tell him to show up. He will. Tell him to show up in your life. Tell him to show up. Let him, tell him to speak to you. Tell him you want to hear his voice. Let him tell you that he's alive. Tell him. Because of these evil doers, the light that's exposed them and they are going down. And that's what the scripture says. All things will become new because the old has to exit. So all these things in your body that is making you to do evil, come to Jesus today. You have that opportunity today. As you're hearing this message, today you have that opportunity. Leave evil alone. Because evil, your father, the false father, the diabolical father is in chains. So you have no father anymore. You have no father. So you better come. Now. Now. Be empowered. Be empowered. And let God be God. He's taking over the planet. He's taking over his families. He's taking over everything, every system. So you, that is still looking for blood sacrifice, that is still, still wicked, that is still sleeping with people in their dream, that is still laying and oppressing people in their sleep, that is still going from, well, uh, 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 from one wickedness to another, that is still injecting people in their neck. Look at you. Look at you. Thank you. That is still injecting people in their teeth. That is still injecting people in their eyes. Still going around. Look at you. And you stay in church all day long. And you are the one who knew all the big prophets that are lying to you. And you know who you are when you get home. Look at you. You got to repent because everything has been exposed. The planet has exposed you. The light of God has exposed you. God is taking over his planet. Don't say you didn't hear the message. The kingdom of God is at hand. And the kingdom of heaven is what we are saying here and heaven on earth. Bring heaven to earth by renewing your mind and bringing yourself to the feet of the Christ Jesus in repentance. And like I said earlier, tell him, tell him, cry to show up. Tell him to show up and you will see that things will change for you. Let me tell you now, drop that placenta, drop all the keys that you think you have in your hand. Drop the keys that you think you have in your hand. Drop that placenta, drop all that diabolical things. It's already reversed. You're just wasting your time, but I'm telling you to drop all of it so that you can confess your sin and the sins of your forefathers. <laughs> and you can let God be God. Only God has the judgment. But you have opportunity now. Join me more on part two of this empowerment. Diab diabolical has to come to an end. And God is the one doing it in the name of Jesus. He has to come to an end. Wickedness have, have to come to an end. Thank you, my friends, for uh, joining me on, on YouTube and Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything that you do. And thank you for coming on the Zoom. God bless you. I love you. I'm Patrick Kidwell. Amen.